you'd like to wrap up yet? <laughs> well, you know, uh, um, that was that was a fair game for us. Yeah, you lead changed a number of times. I lost count after three, but um, we kept we kept sticking in it and staying in the game. You know, so real happy with that. You did. You don't beat a side like that easy away. We didn't expect to beat them easy away. We had to chase them. Got our noses in front and gave it up before half time, which was disappointing. Um, particularly on a play that was forward, which the referee sort of indicated was to us later. But uh, we probably got a lucky one ourselves in the second half as well. So, But, um, but at the end of the day, um, that's football, isn't it? You know, you, you take, the, you take the, the good with the bad. And uh, I thought, I thought we deserved to stay within the game and it was always going to be different tackles to one. And I don't think there was a particularly better side than another. I think both sides tried out, both played really good footy. There was plenty of ball minutes and nice tries, some really decent stuff. But it was just come down to who got the bounce at the back end and for us, fortunately, it went to us. You went behind a couple of times by 10, 12 points, but mm. you never really seemed to go, have your heads down at any stage. No, we, we come, came back quickly from it to a degree, you know, like started the second half quickly and got back got back within range and you didn't need them to score again, uh, you know, uh, straight after half time, that type of thing. So, yeah, it was a matter of kicking back and we did. We came away from some long ranges. I think, you know, obviously, they had an intercept try basically as well, even though they were ran, in, ran him down. So, uh, you know, I was disappointed for Danny. Danny really wanted to score that try and uh, and it came out of his hands. But, uh, and I would have loved him to score it too, so I could have breathed a sigh of relief for the last minute. But. Um, Nevertheless, um, as I say, it was, all, it was just one of those games that was going to bounce one way or another and we just pushed ourselves hard and I think there were some great individual efforts to, um, you know, I find it hard to name a man of the match. I know everyone picked Hawley because of you know, the three tries, which he, but it was on the end of some good stuff for really. me. Just, just on Dan into Matt, what's it say about his experience when he threw that intercept which looked like a big swing and then comes back and creates... It was just, a, it was just sorry boys in the shed that's, at half time, that's all. I mean, everyone accept, ex, accepts everyone's issues in a game of rugby league. If you're going to jump on your player, uh, let alone a player of his calibre, when well, you need a kick in the tail. I mean, everyone supports each other in those things. We actually ran it down, and there was a fair chance we could have stopped it. Uh, Chris Atkin did a great job, and as did two or three others of our guys who got back in line. But, um, you know, they were, we were shot to pieces, obviously, uh, out wider then. But, again, um, no one blames anyone. Yeah. I just find how he kept, how he played in the second half, especially off the back of that career. Yeah, that's I thought he, he he just he's experienced enough to throw it away, and that's what you've got to do. You can't dwell on it. Uh, we had our heads down a little bit at half time because we'd given up those couple of tries, a right on full time, a half time run. So it was a bit disappointing, but um, we knew we knew we were as good as them. We knew we could come together. I asked them, "Do you think so?" And they agreed, and they believed it. You could see in their faces that they believed it. So. You know, we, we came back out, we believe in each other. They've trained hard this week. We had an outstanding week of training. Although I lost Joel Tompkins with the flu and, and Blair didn't train the last two sessions either and was only a late interchange into the team today. That's why he started off the bench. Um, so that, that upset us a bit, but Tickle and, um, Tickle and Greenwood trained the last two sessions and they're outstanding. So I went with the side that, that trained. You lost three quarters teams for, for various reasons this year. How important was it to get Hall and Crooks in in those hours before the deadline? And how yeah. big have they both been for you? Yeah, look, very, very, very big for us. As in, as a pair, they, they do well together, and I have moved Hall to the other side now. I've got Justin back. I'm trying to develop that combination with um, with Vi Vi, but um, two different body shapes when you look at it. But we can kick to Hall in them, and you can see that we're a, a danger in the air when uh, when we put a ball to that side. Um, can't get off the ground on the other side, so we don't even worry about that one. But um, but they they're strong on the ground as as you know they had a couple of shots at dummy half and and uh, I came up with one which is good. He's been held up a few times this year and we talked about more effort and uh, he really was determined to get it down. A lot of players go on some the likes of Chris Clarkson, Greenwood, yes. you know, hard work. Yeah. Um, they deserve some some points. They sure do. As I say, I, I don't think I could pick a a man of the match today, even though Hawley was picked, and fair enough, three tries. But so much work was done by so many people. You know, uh, with a very bad knock in the first half, um, Tickle played 80 minutes. Started in the back row and went to the front row. You know? um, I don't know how he keeps churning it out, but he does. Uh, 
real pro. Um, you know, my hand was I hurt his shoulder. I don't think he's going to be serious enough to miss it next week, but he battled through too. You know, but Clarkson, outstanding. Those guys, you know, Cabinet <coughs> having a, a really good back end of the season. So, you know, we've got a few blokes off contract, and it doesn't hurt today in front of the owner to, to beat them. With what you've had to go through in terms of who you've played already and the travelling, what do you make of a start of two wins from three? Two wins from three is outstanding for us. Yeah. It was an intercept that beat us technically at. Uh, at uh, Salford as well. Uh, I think the game is nip and tuck. You'll never know now, but uh, throwing the intercept didn't help us. But um, you know, but I did just point out that you know, enjoy today and tomorrow, but get your heads back down because we still can't afford a lapse. You know, uh, four games to go, but go in one and two versus two and one. There's a, that's a huge difference. And I don't know how the other games have fallen uh, or will fall over the next uh, day or so, but. Uh, for us, it was a must win to beat up the top notch Super League side. Um, is a big, big ad, ad heading where there's a big uh, uh, lift for us. Mind you, the both types we've played in this year, I think we've certainly stood up uh, here in the rain that night. I thought we were very unlucky in a couple of instances and got a couple of very tough calls too from video referee. Um, lost Heffernan, head injury to that night. Um, so. We've recovered really well, and not having Danny for long periods and certain players for long periods. You know, we know, you know, there's a few sides whinging about, um, uh, you know, not having key players. Well, you know, at some stages this year, the, the right side of my whiteboard had a better side injured than the left side. So, you know, we, we haven't had a, a good year. Must be the water in Hull, I think. I think something like that is it. Just forward, it wasn't again for the defences to be pretty proud of. And uh, both sides, you know, scored a lot of points. Is that one thing you want to maybe fix a little bit? Yeah, some of the tries were too simple, yes, I can bet, but some of them were just good athletic uh, ability. I mean, you know, uh, they, they have some outstanding athletes, you know, Moon on the edge, and that you, you drift on him and he just takes you over a side, over a, a goal line, you know. Like three last week and another one today. So, you know, you can't, um, you can't expect you know, to, to beat that side 4-0, um, you know. Uh, they've got too much ammunition. So you're going to have to have points in your... Fortunately, today we had enough points in us. But a few headaches in your team selection for next week? Certainly. Um, I think Todd Carney will be available, Lee Jewett will be available, um, and uh, Joel Tompkins will be fit. But I've got a couple of bumps in there too, so you know, and, you know, hopefully uh, two steps forward and one back, not two steps forward and three back, which has been the case this year a bit. But uh, right at the moment, they're all feeling good, but the injuries, it always hurts tomorrow. So we'll see where they're all at tomorrow.